All right, so we're back with another deep dive, and uh, today yeah. we're going to be taking a look at the KDE announcement for Plasma 6.3. Okay. Um, and this is the latest release of this pretty popular desktop environment. Mm -hmm. Now, they claim that this is a, an <laughs> unmatchable desktop experience. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a pretty bold claim. Yeah. Um, so we're going to see if that's actually true. Right. We're going to take a look at what's new in this version okay. um, and, you know, see if it lives up to the hype. Yeah, that's good. So if you're at all interested in open source desktops right. um, or if you're thinking about maybe switching to Plasma yourself mm -hmm. or if you're just a tech enthusiast and you want to kind of stay ahead of the curve. Right. Um, this is the deep dive for you. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they've done. Yeah, for sure. It's interesting that they're emphasizing refinement in this release. You know, yeah. it comes just a year after the initial right. launch of Plasma 6. Um, so that suggests that they've been really busy yeah. fixing bugs and responding to feedback from users to try to okay. create a more polished experience this time. So it seems like they're focusing on yeah. making things kind of smoother, yeah. more stable, right. which makes a lot of sense for yeah. a release like this. Mm -hmm. um, but what about this claim of pixel perfect right what does that even mean yeah like when we're talking about a desktop is that just marketing hype is it just marketing yeah. yeah yeah or is there something really substantial behind that okay so one of the key things that they've really focused on okay is fractional scaling mm -hmm. um and this is how the desktop handles adjusting the size of everything on your screen right when you have a high resolution display mm -hmm. Um, now, the problem is that fractional scaling can often lead to yeah. these kind of blurry fonts and images. Ugh. Yeah, blurry fonts are like right. the worst. It's like trying to read through a foggy window or something. Yeah, yeah. So how does Plasma 6.3 address that then? So they've made major improvements to KWIN, okay. which is kind of at the heart of how Plasma manages windows mm -hmm. and graphics. Okay. Um, so now even... At those high zoom levels, right? Kwin is able to snap elements to the pixel grid more precisely, okay, resulting in much sharper visuals. So you're saying no more fuzzy text? <sighs> Hopefully not. Yeah, no more squinting at the screen trying to figure out <laughs> yeah. what it actually says. Exactly. Okay, so that's a huge win yeah. for anyone with a high resolution display. Yeah, for sure. Um, now, I also hear that they've made some they have, yeah. big improvements for digital artists, too. Is yeah. that right? So they've completely revamped the settings okay. for drawing tablets. All right. Um, so now artists have yeah. a lot more control over how their tablet interacts with the screen. Mm -hmm. um, so you can do things like calibrate it more precisely. Map the active area of the tablet to specific parts of the screen. That's really cool. Um, you can even customize the pressure curve of the stylus wow. and remap the buttons on the tablet. So they're really giving artists the tools that they need yeah, that, to really fine tune their digital workflow. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, but it sounds like they haven't just focused on, yeah. you know, all the flashy stuff. Yeah. They've also made some That's right. pretty significant improvements under the hood too. So some of these might not be as visually obvious. Right. Um, but they can make a really big difference okay. in your day-to-day -day experience. Yeah, I can see that. Um, for example, they've really significantly enhanced the system monitor. Okay. Um, it gives you a much more accurate view now mm -hmm. of CPU usage, right. but it actually uses fewer system resources itself. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So you can keep an eye on your system's performance without yeah. actually bogging it down. Yeah, so I'm not going to slow things down just no. to check how things are running. It's like having a fuel gauge that mm. doesn't drain your gas tank. That's a great analogy, yeah. Just to tell you how much fuel you have left. Yeah. Um, so they've made the system monitor more efficient mm -hmm. but what about other parts of the system mm -hmm. have they kind of improved yeah how plasma monitors hardware in general yeah definitely okay um so like the info center can now show you information mm -hmm. about your graphics card okay and your battery cycle count oh that's cool yeah so it gives you the more complete picture mm -hmm. of your hardware's health right um they've also improved printer monitoring making uh -huh. it easier to see what's in the print queue yeah. And if a document is actively printing. Those are all great quality of life improvements. Yeah, definitely. It's all about kind of making the system more transparent and giving you the information you need yeah, when you need it. Right. Um, what else have they done in this area? So one really clever thing I think they added yeah. is a new service that will actually 
notify you okay. if an application is terminated mm -hmm. because it's using too much memory. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it even gives you suggestions right. on how to kind of avoid running into that same issue mm -hmm. in the future. So it's like having a little guardian angel yeah. looking after your system. Exactly. And making sure that everything's running smoothly. Right. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so they've done a lot to improve mm -hmm. the core functionality of Plasma. Yeah. Um, but what about the tools? Right. Have they made any updates? Oh, yeah. To the apps and utilities that people use every day? Yeah, of course. Okay. Um, so they've refined some of their key tools. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, for example, Runner, okay. which is their powerful search and launch tool. Right. Um, it has much better keyboard navigation now. Oh, so for keyboard ninjas like me, yeah, that's a big plus. Yeah. Um, because you can zip through different categories of results more easily yeah. without ever having to touch your mouse. That's right. It's all about streamlining your workflow mm -hmm. and reducing those little points of friction that can interrupt your flow. For sure. What about Discover? Okay. Their software manager. Yeah. Any interesting updates there? Yeah, actually there are. Okay. Um, so Discover now highlights apps mm -hmm. that have changed their sandbox permissions okay. after an update. Right. Um, and that's really important for security. Yeah. I can see that. Because it helps you understand mm -hmm. what an app is actually allowed to do. Yeah, for sure. On your system. Okay. Um, they've also made it clearer to see whether an app yeah. is officially packaged by the developer. Right. Or verified by a third party. Okay. Um, so that's really important yeah. for, you know, building trust right. and transparency yeah, like. when you're downloading software. Especially in a world where... We're installing software all the time. It's mm -hmm. important to know where it's coming from exactly, and yeah. what it's allowed to do. Right. Um, okay, so we talked about Runner and Discover. Mm -hmm. Any other tool updates yeah. that yeah. are worth mentioning? For those who are really into the weather, okay. the weather widget yeah. now supports Deutscher Wetterdienst. All right, so that's a little bit niche. It is, yeah. But it's great that they're expanding those options yeah. and giving users more choice. For sure. All right, so let's move on to something Don't that <laughs> Plasma is pretty famous for, yeah. which is its incredible level of customization. Right. Um, so what have they done in Plasma 6.3 mm. to give users even more control okay. over their desktop experience? So one of the coolest new things, I think, mm -hmm. is panel cloning. Okay. Um, so now if you've spent all this time right. carefully setting up a panel mm -hmm. with all the specific widgets and configurations, yeah. you can easily duplicate it oh. to another screen or location. So that saves so much time and effort, yeah. especially for people who use multiple monitors or yeah. like to have different panel setups for different tasks. Yeah, exactly. That's brilliant. Mm. What else have they done to expand the customization options? You can now control panel opacity okay. and screen placement using scripts. Oh, cool. Yeah, so if you're comfortable with a bit of scripting, yeah. you can really fine-tune right. how your panels behave and appear. That's perfect for power users yeah. who love to tweak every little thing about so, their system. Right. Um, and speaking of personalization, uh, didn't they make some changes to the kickoff menu? Yeah, they did. In this release. So in Plasma 6.2, they introduced those symbolic icons right. in the kickoff menu sidebar. Yeah. And some users weren't really thrilled with that change. Okay. So in 6.3, they made it possible to revert back right. to the traditional icons, if you want, right. using the menu editor. That's a great example yeah. of them listening to feedback mm -hmm. and giving people the option to choose what works best for them. Yeah. Um, so they've made the kickoff menu more customizable. Right. But have they made any other changes yeah. to how it works? Um, so they've added some subtle but useful tweaks okay. to the kickoff menu's behavior. All right. Um, you can now choose whether you want to switch between categories mm -hmm. by clicking on them or by just hovering over them. That's a cool little feature. It's yeah. those little details mm -hmm. that can really make a difference yeah. in your day-to-day -day workflow. Right. Um, what about symbolic links? Okay. Did they make any changes related to those? Yeah, so they added a show target option okay. to the desktop context menu right. for symbolic links. Mm -hmm. um, so that can help clarify where a link is pointing to. That's helpful. Yeah. It's all about making the system mm -hmm. more transparent and easier to understand. Yeah. Okay, so we've talked about the kickoff menu and yeah. symbolic links. Yeah. Um, any other usability improvements? There's a couple. Stand out to you? Um, 
One that I personally like okay. is that when you drag a file mm -hmm. out of a window that's partially hidden right. behind other windows, yeah. it no longer jumps to the top of the screen. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, it's one of those little things that you don't really right. notice until it's fixed. Yeah, it's like a minor annoyance until and, it's gone. And then you're like, oh. And then you realize how yeah. much smoother it makes things. Right, exactly. Yeah, it's all about eliminating those little points of friction. Yeah. Okay, so what does Plasma 6.3 teach us okay. about what makes a great desktop environment? I think Plasma 6.3 really highlights the importance of refinement, okay. attention to detail, mm -hmm. and a really deep understanding yeah. of user needs. Right. It's not about just throwing in a bunch of new features. No, it's about carefully crafting a cohesive right. and enjoyable experience. It's about creating a desktop environment yeah. that feels like an extension of yourself. Mm -hmm. a tool that empowers you to yeah. do what you love. Yeah. Whether that's creating art, yeah. writing code, analyzing data, right. or even just connecting with friends and family. Exactly. And I think Plasma is on the right track. Yeah, I think so too. With its focus on customization, its intuitive interface, yeah. and its commitment to open source principles, yeah. I think Plasma is really well positioned sure. to lead the way mm -hmm. into the future of desktop computing. Couldn't agree more. Yeah. So as we wrap up our deep dive into Plasma 6.3, mm -hmm. I want to encourage you to stay curious, yeah. keep exploring, and never stop imagining what the future of technology might hold. Right, because the perfect desktop might still be yeah. kind of a distant dream. Mm -hmm. But with each step forward, with yeah. every innovative idea, yeah. and with each contribution from the open source community, mm. we're getting closer and closer yeah. to actually realizing that dream. And who knows, maybe someday we'll look back at Plasma 6.3 as one of those milestones mm -hmm. on that incredible journey. That'd be great. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us on this dip dive. Yeah, this is fun. And until next time, happy computing. Take care. <laughs>